my dad would always tell this joke, and uh, <coughs> it was about a little boy <coughs> called Dirty Johnny. You know, and he'd be in class. You ever heard Dirty yeah. Johnny? Dirty I've Johnny heard jokes. Yeah. Yes, heard yes. the but whole series. In this, <laughs> bu- in this, in this joke, he's not dirty. Hmm. But anyways, uh, <laughs> the te- the teacher uh, has a thing, and the teacher says today in class. Um, class, we are going to uh, have a little experiment. You're going to tell a story from your real life, and then afterwards, you are going to tell the moral of that story. You know? So uh, uh, Sheila puts up her hand, and the teacher says, Sheila, what's your story? So Sheila says, Well, uh, uh, my dad works at the hatchery, and uh, he took uh, some chick, uh, some eggs, and um, and he put them all in a basket. All the eggs he put in one basket. And then he put them in the horse and buggy, and off we went to town. And the earth was uneven, and the eggs broke. And uh, and the teacher goes, well, that's an all right story, but I, I can't understand what the, what the moral would be to that story. <laughs> so Sheila says, well, the moral is don't put all of your eggs into one basket. <laughs> So the teacher says, well, by God, this is exactly what I'm looking for <laughs> and what I was hoping for with this experiment. Yeah. And uh, anybody else have one? So uh, Marjorie puts up her hand. Okay, Marjorie, what's your story? Well, my father works for the hatchery. Most of us. Most people in that town work in the hatchery. Worked at the hatchery. Mm. Thank God for the hatchery, she says. <laughs> <laughs> or where would we be? So she says, my father, um, uh, he sells chickens. And he knows that eggs become chickens. See what I mean? So uh, he had to count his chickens uh, so he'd go and, uh, and sell them in town. So he had nine chickens and five eggs. So instead of uh, saying he had nine chickens, he added the five eggs. You see, he counted them as chickens. So he said, I have 14 chickens. So he... Uh, Took them, uh, Sheila says, uh, and put them in the horse and buggy, and off they went to town. But the the land was uneven. <laughs> the chickens uh, yeah. survived easily. They frolicked. The eggs broke. Well, the teacher says again, that's a story, you know. But uh, what what on earth could the could the moral of that story be? Well, Sheila says, if that's her name, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> she says, don't count your chickens before they hatch out of the, out of the eggs. Right. Teacher says you could probably shorten it a little. <laughs> so, um, but, but that's great. And that's exactly what we're looking for. And then she looks at the back of the class, and by God, there's the, fucking... the upraised hands of... As you say, fucking dirty Johnny. Fucking dirty Johnny. He's going to ruin the lesson. <laughs> so the teacher, in her, inside of her head, her thoughts are moving around, and she's like, ah, God, I don't want to hear dirty Johnny say that. This is going so well, but at the same time, I took a vow, and I became a teacher that every student... And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Johnny, let's hear your story. So dirty Johnny gets up, and he says... This is a story about my Uncle Terry. He didn't work for the hatchery. He didn't even like people that did. He was in Vietnam. (laughs) And he lives in the disability checks he got. (laughs) Uncle Terry was not a popular man. Not even among those he worked with. And I suppose we've all heard of people who've deserted from their battalion. But I don't know if you've ever heard of a battalion deserting a man. That's what they did with with Uncle Terry. One day, Uncle Terry awoke in the middle of Da Nang, and everybody was gone. He was alone, and they'd left him three bottles of Jack Daniels and some weaponry. So... Der, uh, Uncle Terry got up, says Dirty Johnny, and he downed the bottle of Jack Daniels and two slugs, and he threw it down and smashed it into the into the jungle. And um, then he walked, picked up the two Kalashnikovs and 
three or four Glocks and a couple of hand grenades, and off he walked into the into the unknown, the jungle, his fate. Came upon a, a village, and from the village came <laughs> people. Now, were they Charlie, or were they the people that Terry was sent to protect from Charlie? Uncle Terry didn't know. But he knew he had to do something, so he took another swig from the bottle, and he let loose. Took that Kalishnikov, <laughs> and he, he let it sway like a, like a farmer would a scythe. <laughs> And uh, the bullets came, and uh, you know, just as a, uh, just as hay would fall uh, before a farmer, so the people fell before Uncle Terry. The men, the women, and by God, even the children. And finally, Uncle Terry stood alone in the mud and the blood and the guts, and the <laughs> only had himself. <laughs> he took a long swig, and his hand brushed against his his pants, and he felt wetness, and and then he felt shame because he realized he had urinated himself in fear. And then, upon closer inspection, he realized it was not urine; it's ejaculate. And his shame was replaced by pride. And that teacher goes, holy fucking shit, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking kind of fucking story is that? Like, we just heard the hatchery and shit, and, and now this? She goes, Uncle, uh, Uncle Terry, uh, well, Dirty Johnny, what on earth could be the, the, the moral to such a story? Uh, so... Uh, Johnny thinks about it for a couple of minutes and he goes, well, I don't know, I guess. Well, I know one thing. You don't fuck with Terry when he's had some uh, some drink in him. <laughs> <laughs> and he's uncorked the jug. You stay away from Uncle Terry. And he doesn't, <laughs> and he doesn't like anybody that works at the hatchery either. You remember that. <laughs> you tell your parents that. <laughs> wow. The guy told me once he was in, uh, he was a Vietnam vet and then he shot three people, and uh, <laughs> after killing them, he involuntarily ejaculated. What? <laughs> That's what a guy in the street told me. He wanted some money. <laughs> so they that all was his their, opener? Yeah, That's they all have their little funny stories to get, to get money from you.